Hello everyone, welcome to Pass Solo Creation video tutorial. I am doing a series of church flyer design in Adobe Photoshop. This is a new episode of the Quick Tip and Trick series where I am going to show you how to design this church flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So first of all, before I get into the video, I want to quickly invite myself. My name is Solomon and I provide you with tutorials that are based on graphic design, general knowledge in computer, mobile phones and many more. You better watch from beginning to ending of this tutorial because I don't want you to lose any valuable information. So let's dive into it. So first of all, with your Photoshop open, go to file, select new, choose A4 under print tab, then select orientation to landscape and click on create. A new canvas is going to open for you. We will set our background to a deep blue color. So get your paint bucket tool on your left side of the tools, select that and click once on the background and you are going to get effects like this. Then from here, I will bring in my stock images, which I'm going to use for this tutorial. I'll drag and drop this into Photoshop. And please, I will leave all this in the description below for you to download so that you can do exactly the same thing that I'm doing here. Since I want you to replicate what I'm doing to get the same effect that I'm getting here. So scale your vector image like this. And please, if you don't have the edges, just go to edit, select, free transform and you see that the shortcut is ctrl t so if you click on that you get the edges so that you can scale it as i did it so when you are done click on enter to accept changes then with your layer selected change the blending mode of the layer from normal divided to get this blue kind of shade and position it on how you want it so you can compare it to what i did here so you can still scale it up so that you can get that same effect. Scale it up like this. And if you don't want what you see, you can just add a layer mask to it. Then with your brush selected, shortcut is B, select your brush at the left side. And if you, if you have the plus sign on it, just click on the caps lock key to toggle between the plus sign and the main brush tool. Then we can brush length the background with the image that we just added. Then from here we add one image to this so that we can get our background complete. So go to file, then you see these buildings, drag and drop into Photoshop, then scale it a bit using the edges like this then double click on it or enter to accept changes then add then i'll add a layer mask to it and with my brush selected i can do the same thing by blending it together immediately you finish any action in photoshop just click on the move to so, so that you can always be at a safer place because when I finish using the brush tool and I'm still holding it, you can see that it is still brushing. But when I'm on the move to you, you see that I just move it. So that place is always cool when you are not using any brush at all. Then from here, I will select my image and the blending mode of the layers change from normal to hard light, get effect like this. And I will reduce the opacity to 50. So you see the opacity, it was 100 here and I have reduced it to 50. All right, so let me reduce the opacity more to 30. So I will reduce the opacity of the image 30. So you can see here is the opacity and I have reduced from 100 to 30. And I will select this one also and reduce the opacity to 50 also. All right, so this is going to be my background. So I will click on the lock background here to unlock it select all of them so you can hold control select one and the other two you select all of them then control j to group all of them and I, I can rename it as background and when you are done click on enter to accept changes and you can see this is our background and you can lock it when it is selected so that you will not be distracted with the background all right so from here go to file then bring your image into Photoshop, leave it at the top here so that it will be open in a different tab for you. Then with my quick selection or any of the selection tools selected, just click on select subject or you can go to select and you see select subject. 
so you see this one is select and this is the subject so select subject wait for the object to be selected for you then control j to make a copy or a duplicate so when i turn the visibility of the background you can see that it has made a duplicate for me then i can move it to my main work so here is it and position it and scale it a bit using the edges like this and please it is not always that you can use the select subject to make a selection uh, to make a perfect selection of your subject for you sometimes select subject won't work so you have to use the pen tool to make the selection so if you don't know how to use the pen tool i will leave a, i will leave a link in the description below or in the card above for you to check it up on how to make a selection using a pen tool all right so from here i'll get my test tool that's a big t here and click once on the canvas or on the document so you see that the color here is blue so i will change it to white so that i can see what i am typing then i also type the next test with and the last one so with the encounter selected ctrl t for free transform and i can scale it up like this and i'll change the font to tuesday night and when i change the font to tuesday night this is the kind of effect that i will get so position it as you want all right then i'll change the width also to tuesday night to encounter with jesus and i'll leave this one as it is that's the the font name is big noodle i'll leave it as it is and scale it up a bit and please if you don't know how to download and install fonts in adobe photoshop i'll also leave a link after watching this video please check the link to download this font if you would like to use it in your designs so with all these effects created I'll select the pasta and move it above all these layers so that I can start seeing that. Then from here, I'll select all the tests together like this. Control G to group all of them. And I can name this as test and click on enter. So you can see this is the test. Then Control J to make a copy or a duplicate. You see test copy. Then Control E to create a stamp of all visible layers. So you see if I hide the one beneath and I hide this one to so you see both of them is hide it so you can see i now have one test together because i have merged all of them into one then from here i'll go to my source file and i'll drag and drop this smooth gold texture into photoshop then i will scale it up like this then i'll right click on this and create a creeping max so with this you see the effects that we have created and you, you see it says encounter with jesus so if you want to scale it up you can select the test if you just select or here you see that it selected the image that we brought the golden image so if you want to scale the test you select the test here and you can scale it up all right so please from here with your test copy selected ctrl j to make a copy or a duplicate and select the old one the test copy and with the help of your arrow keys move it down and a little left to any how you want it then go to the fx select color overlay then choose a deep color like this the code is 390202 and click on ok so you see the effect that we get by applying this so with this and without it so you see that this one help the test pop up more than just being raw all right and then from here i'll bring in the church logo enter to accept changes then with, with the help of my rectangle to i'll draw a line here a white background or with a white fill then i'll bring in the church name as follow with the help of my test tool i'll start typing the church name and reduce the fonts 
Then Ctrl A to select all and I'll go to window, look for character and you will see that the character tool will pop up for me and I can use the spacing to space it up a bit. After that click on enter to accept changes and click on the mark here to accept changes also and I can use the handles here to scale it up or if you don't have the handles normally it is this one that shows control handle so without it you will not have the handle so what you can do is control T and then the handles will come but if you want to see the handles always just click on show transform show transform controls and you have them so if you are doing this it is called transform like you are transforming it from its original nature to something else so that's how it is all right so from here i can bring so from here i can bring the church date time here so maybe we are having it on 23rd then i will scale it up a bit then maybe we, we will be doing it on july then i will scale this one also then maybe 2021 or uh, let's say 2021 so i'll just type in 21 then i can make a duplicate of this and maybe bring time here then lastly i can add the location to this place and please if you are wondering how i made a copy of this one just by clicking and dragging just click and hold on the alt you see that a white arrow joins the black arrow then you drag over it to make a copy the white arrow joining the black arrow means you want to make a copy so when the copy is done just leave it and you get your copy so you can just add your venue also And lastly, you can add your pastor's name. And I don't like to use this font for this, so I'll change the font to something else. So by this way, you can create a church flyer in Adobe Photoshop. Wow, this is the final product. I thank you for watching from beginning to ending of this video please don't forget to leave me a like subscribe and ask me anything in the comment section thank you we love you and please check on the screen the two video if picked for you to enjoy next bye for now see you next week wednesday